Here's some tips on water conservation that will help you lower your water bill. First, let's get something straight. If your water meter is wearing out, it doesn't speed up, it actually slows down, causing your water bill to actually be lower. But if you think there is something wrong with your meter, or it's leaking, please call the City of Baytown's Utility Billing Department. Okay, now let's check out to see if you have a leak. Read your house's water meter, then wait two hours when no water is being used. If the meter doesn't read exactly the same, you have a leak. Okay, it's not quite that serious, but you need to get it fixed. Call a plumber. Who is it? It's the plumber. I've come to fix the sink. Something you should do periodically is check your faucets and pipes. It's an easy inspection and a small drip from a worn faucet washer can waste 20 gallons of water per day. Larger leaks can waste hundreds of gallons. Check your toilets for leaks by putting a little food coloring in your toilet tank. The color begins to appear in the bowl within 30 minutes. You have a leak that needs to be repaired. Now let's look at a few things around the house that can reduce usage. You can install water saving shower heads and low flow faucet aerators as an inexpensive water saving solution and they're pretty easy to install. Turn off the water after you wet your toothbrush and rinse your razor in the sink. Wait to use your dishwasher and clothes washer for only full loads. They have presets amount of water that they use. If you're in the market for a new clothes washer, consider buying a water saving front load washer. When washing dishes by hand, don't leave the water running for rinsing. Fill one side of the sink with soapy water and the other side with rinse water. Also, don't let the faucet run while you're cleaning vegetables. Just rinse them in a stoppered sink and using a dual setting aerator on your faucet can be a big help. It gets hot around here in the summer, so keep a bottle of drinking water in the fridge. By running the tap water to cool it off, it can get a bit wasteful. Now about that yard. Put a layer of mulch around your trees and plants. It will slow evaporation of moisture while discouraging weed growth. Don't water your street or driveway. Nothing grows on it. Position your sprinkler so water lands on the lawn or garden, not on the paved areas. And deep soak your lawn by soaking it long enough for the moisture to soak down to the roots or it'll do the most good. Also water during the early parts of the day and avoid watering when it's windy. Now you can greatly reduce the amount of water used for shrubs, beds, and lawns by the strategic placement of soaker hoses, installing a simple drip irrigation system, or installing an approved rain barrel water catchment system. Oh, and finally, don't run the hose while you're washing your car. Get a nozzle, you hoser. That's it. I hope this helps you reduce some of those high water bills this year. And if you have any questions, go to baytown.org or call the City of Baytown's Utility Billing Department. That's it, Baytown. See ya!